crisis in Puerto Rico now. The U.S. military is on the move, clearing roads and setting up for more relief flights. And here's a look at the latest headlines. A cruise ship from Royal Caribbean is in place to pick up almost 4,000 people in Puerto Rico, St. Croix and St. Thomas and bring them back to the mainland. There are new challenges for getting that relief out of the port. 12 major highway bridges on Puerto Rico are not safe to cross. And by week's end, FEMA will have an extra $7 billion for the operations there. We want to talk with you about another island that is part of Puerto Rico. It is just seven miles off the coast. It's called Vieques and reporters are just starting to get there tonight, so we don't have any of their work to show you. But we got a little help from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and they've got some incredibly detailed satellite photos that show you the island. So let's show you just how detailed as we take you closer to the biggest town on the island, Isabel Segunda, and you can see what appears to be missing. This is a building here with no roof. Debris is everywhere in this block, and the island's famous palm trees are flattened. That's the city where we just were. Now we're going to head over here to the Vieques Airport. It's small, no big jets here, just prop planes, and they've gotten the runways cleared, so that is the good news, and help should start landing there hopefully tomorrow. But as we take a closer look at the terminal area, on either side of this taxiway here, you see two planes, right? Those two planes, that's the wreckage of them, both of them apparently picked up and tossed around by the winds that Maria brought ashore. Not far from the airport is the island's only cell phone tower, which now looks like just a pile of twisted metal. No cell phone service there, and you can see why. Now, relief workers who got to the island today brought satellite phones, and people are waiting in line for hours just to make a quick call to their family and tell them they're alive. They're hoping to see some relief crews soon because the island is running out of food, water, and fuel. As the military and FEMA get to work on the ground, many of you are asking us how you can help from here. Stephanie Ramirez has some answers. What? We know there are several organizations collecting cash donations from the Humane Societies to the American Red Cross, UNICEF, and Unidos por Puerto Rico, which is the Puerto Rican government's donation site. Then there's this. There's a lot of D.C. area fundraising donation events like this one in Vienna. Where it's still an emotional time. Sitting back watching it, it's, it's hard. <laughs> It's okay, we're helping out. Carmen Carreño says she works HR for Windows Catering, which donated this truck. Very positive to see everyone here. She also tells us she just started a nonprofit that was collecting goods for Puerto Rico, in addition to fundraising for the earthquake victims in Mexico. Just be careful wherever you go, just make sure you ask the proper questions, that you know exactly where they're donating. All the goods collected today, I'm told, are going to the Chantilly site we reported on yesterday for Unidos por Puerto Rico. But wait, there's three more letters to that DMV. It's a collection of the grassroots efforts that started in our area on Facebook. They've now united as a DC chapter to Puerto Rico's initiative. I'm told they're considering becoming a nonprofit, then you have churches collecting. This volunteer says, whatever you decide. This right here, you know, at least they know that we're doing something for them, that they're not alone. Stephanie Ramirez, W, USA 9. Celebrities are lending some star power as well. Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony created a group to raise cash, and DC's chef Jose Andres is pitching in, helping food truck owners there on the island.